You think I'm gonna say it? It seems like I've been talking about Twitter a lot lately on this channel. I guess probably because there is the largest concentration of low IQ individuals on that site getting around, gathering around each other and supporting their own takes. And today's story is no different. We all know who Mr. Beast is, one of, if not the most popular YouTuber in the world right now. Most people know him for his videos where he's like, I bought a hundred orphans. What can this blowtorch do to them? But I really remember him for, or rather like the thing that comes to mind when I think about the name Mr. Beast, are his old videos where he would say a word for like 10 hours or watch a video for 10 hours. He's someone who basically just dedicated his life to being the best YouTuber in the world. And so while his current videos honestly don't interest me that much, like I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go out of my way to watch a Mr. Beast video. I get the appeal of them and I know why he's successful. I respect the Mr. Beast hustle. Well, recently, Mr. Beast announced that he would be doing some kind of video involving the show Squid Game. He posted videos where he was recreating the set of the show and had all of his equipment around, people building entire buildings for this one video he's gonna be doing. I thought it was pretty cool to see a YouTuber make a video with that kind of budget and scale to it. He's someone who exists without like mainstream money or funding or anything like that. You know, all of his videos are funded by his own ad revenue and sponsorships that he takes, and he continues to exist independently, so I think that's pretty cool. I was like, hell yeah. And number two, my guess is that this is going to be probably his best video of the year. If he does, drop it this year. It's so ambitious, and then obviously you're hopping on the viral Squid Game, you know, hype as well. And then it's Mr. Beast, so you know he's going to do something wild with it. He's just... I cannot believe that this man went from like, you know, counting fidget spingers, you know, a million times <laughs> for hours and hours on YouTube videos to, to this. The YouTube community admired it and his fans were pumped for this video. What could go wrong? Well, eventually, dumb fucks on Twitter caught wind of this and had to post some of the most brain dead and embarrassing takes I've ever seen online. But a lot of people on Twitter actually got upset with Mr. Beast because they are saying here that he has spent way too much money making this set when he could have given that money away. Hot take, but I feel like like once you've reached this level of wealth, maybe you should be using said wealth to benefit the impoverished and not use it to recreate a show that is a direct critique of the exact thing being done here. But hey, that's just me. Well, apparently this opinion is not a thing that just this person thinks, right? In fact, this is the same point of view being echoed by, at the least, 130,000 people. You know that TV show about a game where desperate people off themselves for the chance of winning money, telling us about how sadistic the rich can be and how the working class is just entertainment fodder for them? Let's do that in real life. Don't worry, nobody dies, so it's okay. Mr. Beast, can you do something else? Maybe make homes for the homeless? That might be a good idea. These people's brains are, are leaking out of their nose and seeping into the carpet, only to be licked up by their dog. And it's a direct result of Hassan Piker. Like, this is easily the most reactionary take possible. It takes into account nothing based in reality. This is all shit in this person's head. It really sucks that I have to breathe the same air as these people. It's honestly kind of embarrassing. Honestly, let's go as far as to say that people who are this disingenuous and this dumb should not be allowed to breathe my air, okay? They can have factory smoke or something. The clean air is mine. Okay, that's a little far, but seriously, this is really stupid. A lot of people had some pretty good responses to these guys. Many, like Critical, pointed out that Mr. Beast has done a lot of charity work and funds a food bank to help people in need. Others brought up the fact that he's run multiple campaigns to help the environment, like Team Trees or Team Seas. So it's not like this guy is just hoarding all of his money from his videos and living in a West Hollywood mansion, banging OnlyFans girls. I'm trying to think of someone who preaches all the time about like sharing wealth and does that stuff regardless. For some reason, I can't seem to put my finger on who it is. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's Hassan. It's Hassan Piker. So it turns out that the brothel Hassan went to so that he could have sex with the workers was raided in 2016 for human trafficking. Damn, the dude went Jordan Belfort mode. Base. Some people have also brought up the fact that Mr. Beast is making a video about Squid Game, a show which critiques society, and yet participates in it. Squid Game is a high production show which needed money to exist and is actively making money for Netflix. But all of this is kind of peripheral to how I feel and the point that I want to make honestly because the real issue here beyond any of that is the absolutely brain dead mentality that all these people exhibit on a daily basis. This is not an uncommon take on Twitter. I've seen so many people tweet shit like this and I wouldn't say it infuriates me, but it does kind of disappoint me. Mr. Beast himself seems like a nice charitable guy, okay? But even if he wasn't, that shouldn't matter. This is a guy who earned his money through legitimate means and is allowed to spend his money however he wants. Are you serious, man? 
Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah. The biggest tip you've ever got. The very biggest tip I've ever got. All right, thanks, man. You're driving us, I appreciate it. Oh, no, 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 I don't know what he's saying, but here, take it. No, 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 I'm leaving it there, it's yours. Oh, no, 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 Hello, group hug. All right, camera, get out of the hug. Side bit, here's money for gas all the way. If he wants to contribute to charitable causes, then that's really cool, and I'm glad about that. But if he doesn't, if he wants to live in a mansion and have grapes fed to him all day while he plays Sonic Adventure, as long as he's not criticizing others for doing the same, then he can. Who cares? He can do that, and no one can stop him. And frankly, your opinion on his lifestyle shouldn't matter. There's this very weird entitlement that so many people seem to have around other people's money. Everyone seems to have an opinion about the right and wrong way to spend your money, when in reality, like, actually, it's not up to you how people spend their cash. You shouldn't be looking down on them or treating them like they are bad people just because they don't use it the way that you want to use it or use it in a way that you disagree with. You're just some dork on Twitter.com. Stop acting like the police of the world just because you are aware of the United States' wealth disparity. You're not that special and no one gives a fuck. I'm going to let you guys in on a little bit of insight, okay? I'm going to end this video on a little bit of personal wisdom, which honestly I don't have a lot of. So this, this little dribble of it, okay, you guys should take in stride and, and just drink up as much as possible and use it as much as you can. There was a time when I was super invested in politics and, you know, I would look at what other people were doing with their money and I was kind of blackpilled and feeling down about that. I saw these numbers and was like, damn, that's crazy. And if you want to have whatever opinion you have on these subjects about, I don't know, tax rates or whatever, have that opinion. Who cares, right? I don't. But genuinely, nothing has improved my life more than to stop taking all of this so goddamn seriously. Spending your life on Twitter thinking about political issues and being emotionally invested in what Mr. Beast is doing with the money he earns from YouTube is not going to make your life better in any way. Surprisingly, instead, it will make you a miserable, judgmental person who no one wants to be around. You will be insufferable. Instead, spend your time on things that will improve your quality of life. Work on a craft, you know, work on some art, get more hours at your job, do things that will improve your financial situation, do something that will like, do something that will metrically improve your life rather than just being sucked into this internet vortex. The more you are concerned with this stuff that you have no control over and you cannot affect, the more that it will ruin your brain and rot you from the inside out. You can say that for movies. Why do we even have movies when the money spent making those movies could have been used for a donation instead? Why do we have music when the millions spent producing those albums could have been used as a donation instead? The user that posted this might be married. Why did you spend $10,000 on a wedding ring when that could have been used as a donation instead? You don't need a $10,000 rock to prove you love someone. Why not just donate that money? It's just something that is silly and can be said for everything. You know, there are a lot of young people out there on the internet that are feeling kind of lost. They feel directionless. They're taking in all of this information about how doom and gloom the world is and how shitty everything is going. And honestly, you know, I get it. Um, sometimes I, I feel that way. Sometimes I espouse feelings of that on this channel because, you know, the world is kind of shitty, right? But that doesn't mean that you should give up. That doesn't mean that you should give in to your, your primal urge to exhibit this like just pure raw jealousy. This is the part in the video where I think people would expect me to be like, go touch grass, but I don't touch grass. What am I, one of those outside people? But seriously, just spend your time like improving your life rather than doing this stupid shit. Okay, that's really all that I have to say. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below giving me your thoughts on this subject. I've been uh, reading through the ones where people like disagree with me heavily and uh, I'm going to be honest, if you type me like a massive essay, I'm probably not going to read it. But if you can like summarize your thoughts in a pretty easy to read, like digestible format, then I'll probably read it. Honestly, I've been having a very fun time lately reading comments again on some of my videos, even from people who disagree with me. Okay, that's really all I have to say. Um, bye.